Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today I want to hit on a very important topic and answer the question, how do you get smooth movement on Apex Legends? I'm going to cover some topics I feel just aren't being discussed to really give you some tips and tricks. But let's answer the question first, what does this even mean? This was a question asked in my live stream and they felt that wasn't really talked about on any YouTube videos whatsoever. It's a very simple concept, but I promise you I think you're going to learn a whole lot from this. Now there's a lot of movement in the game. You can do a wall bounce, you can do a bunny hop, and for the time being, you can still do a tap strafe, or even as you saw there, a double tap strafe. And there's other movements such as even a zip line jump. So with all these movements within the game and everything that you can do, how do you tie them together to produce something that you can actually utilize in game? Which is also another common question. Why do I even need to utilize these? Well, the biggest tip I can provide, especially even when you're slide jumping, is first to understand when to use it and what stops you from having this mobility. So this target dummy actually moved over at a perfect moment. And whenever you have your velocity and moving, understand the peak when you release, reach that velocity. That's the most important topic initially, and also when to holster or unholster your weapon. Remember, whenever you have your weapon unholstered, your velocity is much slower. You see, once I get hit, I take a slow. But when your weapon is unholstered, you are much faster. The velocity increases at a faster accelerated rate as it would compared to not having your weapon out. Now, this is the first trick I really want to talk initially about is knowing when to holster and unholster your weapon. So let's say you get into a gunfight and then you get a knock. You would unholster your weapon and try to move immediately to go for better positioning. You don't want to accidentally hit your melee key there, but that also comes with time and practice as you continue to improve. So let's say you were to knock one, but you need to reposition so you unholster and move away. The unholstering is such an important technique to building velocity as fast as humanly possible. So how do you practice this? Well, if you're in the test range, the biggest tip I can provide is by simply utilizing your keys when to holster and unholster. Pull out your gun, unholster your weapon and slide. Pull out your gun, unholster your weapon and slide. And keep understanding this mechanic of when to pull out your gun and remove it. Now, for those that utilize the unholster by switching weapon by the scroll wheel, it might be easier for you to switch to a specific key bind to unholster your weapon. For me, I utilize the number three, or the, I guess you could say the key bind three. I press three whenever I unholster my weapon and I put it away. That's what I utilize. But practicing that is going to be the fundamental as well. Now understand timing. Timing is very important whenever you slide, otherwise you're going to receive a dead slide. So things that can stop you in terms of your overall velocity when you're moving around are getting hit like you saw earlier, or even trying to slide jump a little too early. Let's say you try to slide jump immediately without building enough momentum and you'll pretty much get stuck in place. This happens a lot, especially when you're in a gunfight and you pretty much will panic in that moment that you're trying to slide jump to get away, but you need to wait for the velocity to move a little faster to reach your peak. This comes with time and practice. The best tip I can provide here is whenever you're slide jumping, just to make sure to reach your peak and you can kind of feel it out in game. Now, another thing that impacts this is latency. You can practice this all in the test range and let's right now I have a ping of 40, but when you're in game and you have a latency of let's say 100, even 200, it's going to feel like it's gonna take longer until you reach that peak and it's going to feel different. This is why having the overlays can be very helpful. I'm gonna have in the description how to enable the overlay for the velocity C in the upper left. And then on the upper right, the performance display is actually linked here when you go into gameplay and settings. So you can turn it off and you can turn it back on. Now, the biggest advice I provide is at least know what your ping is at at the start of the round, just to feel out what you're going to essentially have to deal with whenever you're in game. Because not every server is going to be the same, and when you're playing with friends from around the world, your ping is going to be different, meaning that your slide jump timing is going to feel a little bit off as well, especially when getting hit from a bullet. So what, let's wrap up and talk about when getting hit from a specific gun or bullet. Know whenever you're in a gunfight, and they're in between shots is whenever you can build the momentum like you saw there to build up your speed. If you're just if you need to get away or the team calls for you to move. Now I kind of dead slid there, and that's a really great example that if you're in a gunfight and you didn't wait for the velocity build up, then you need to wait for it to speed up a little faster. If you're looking at the velocity upper left hand corner, you can see if whenever it's too slow or not enough. Now let's say you're in a situation, I'll wrap up with this final thought, where you're in a gunfight and then you're 
you know you're losing but you need to get, get a way to do a tech movement that was actually a perfect example by the sheer panic so i got hit but my velocity slowed down so i couldn't do a wall bounce if you were committed to a gunfight you need to pretty much commit and running away is only a call if somebody's going to cover for you for you to get the ability to get the velocity to do some movement or you have the upper hand if you are in the middle of a gunfight and you're trying to shoot and they're already hitting you you're going to have slow movement, especially if they're landing your sh their shots already. So if they're landing their shots already, I rest assured you're not going to have the quote unquote smooth movement that you see from Fade, Lyric, or any popular YouTuber that you love watching whenever they're moving around. This is a timing thing, and this is going to come with time as you continue to improve on the game. So I, I try to keep this video short and sweet and to the point so then you understood the implications of how you get smooth movement. So just to recap, it understand when to holster your weapon and unholster so you get the maximum velocity and that's how you get that speed boost initially i the only reason you see people move their camera back and forth is it's, it's just kind of like a timing thing that's just kind of a you don't need to do that but that's a little tip there at the end of why people kind of do it that's uh almost like a, a little tick kind of thing you call that also whenever the timing what it feels like when you reach that peak whenever you can reach a faster velocity and reach the peak understand latency and then understand when you're in a gunfight and when you're getting hit so those are the four key components i outlined them i detailed them talked about them in full detail hopefully this video is helpful for you don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in the next video